In this video, we're going to learn how to read a file and display its contents in C++. So if we have a file like this, what we want to do is read the file and display all of its contents. The first thing we'll do is include the fstream library so we can use the ifstream object type to read the contents of the file. We'll prompt the user to enter in the name of the file. We'll declare a string variable called file name to store that file name. Then we'll prompt the user with cout and file name colon. And we'll use the getLine function to store the entered file name into the file name variable. So we'll have getLine and then cin and file name. And so getLine is going to read the entered file name from standard input and store it into the file name string variable. We can then use that file name to open the file. We'll have here ifstream and in file. We'll use this ifstream object variable called infile to open the file and read its contents. We'll have here infile.open and then file name. So this open member function of the ifstream object is going to open the file. We can't actually read the contents of the file until we first open the file. We need to pass the open member function the name of the file to open. In this case, we pass it the file name that was entered by the user. Now it's possible that opening the file could fail. For example, maybe a file with that file name just doesn't exist. We can check for that using the fail member function. So here we'll have if in file dot fail is true. So the fail member function is going to return true if the file failed to open. In that case, we're going to exit the program with an error message in status. We'll have here cout error opening file followed by an end line. And we'll also have return one to exit the program. Returning one instead of returning zero is a signal to the shell or the terminal here that something has gone wrong in the execution of our program. Now at this point, we know the file has been opened successfully and we can now read and display the contents of the file. What we'll do is actually read the file one character at a time. We'll have here car C to declare a variable to store each character of the file. Then we'll have here while in file dot get C. So the get member function of the ifstream object is going to read the next character of the file each time it's called, and it's going to store it into that car variable C. It's going to return false and stop the loop once all the characters have been read from the file, otherwise it's going to return true. What we'll do with each iteration of the loop is output the character that we've just read. We'll have C out and then C to output the character we've just read. Now the last thing we've got to do is close our access to the file. We'll have here in file.close to close the file. Then we'll save our program and compile it and we'll test it out. So we'll compile it and then we'll run it. I'll enter in file.txt for the file name and we get the contents of the file. And so our program is working. Now there's an even easier way to solve this problem. What I could have here instead is cout and then in file.rdbuff. So this rdbuff member function of the iStream object is going to return a pointer to the stream buffer object associated with the stream. And the stream extraction operator is going to use it to keep reading the stream until it's exhausted. In other words, until all the file content has been output. So we'll save this version of the program. We'll recompile it and we'll run it again. We'll enter in file.txt for the file name. And again, we'll get the contents of the file. So this is how we can read and display the contents of a file using C++. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers.